Okay guys, well just as I said in my end of an age earth changes update video, I was going to also do a political update video and just basically give you a rundown of what is now unfolding on the political stage. And I call it a stage because that's what it is. And these men, these people who call themselves our politicians are nothing but Jesuit puppets and they're all playing their role in the Jesuit script. Now I uploaded this video on the 12th of November 2016 after the Jesuit instated their puppet Trump to play out their Trump card and I basically went into detail to show how Trump is just another actor on the political stage and he is going to be no different than Obama. In fact, he's going to be a lot worse than Obama and this is how they will play out their script. They will play out their script so that the masses thought that they were going to get somebody better than Obama who wasn't a politician, but in fact they are going to get someone much worse than Obama. Even though Obama and Trump are on the same team because Republicans and Democrats are just two sides of the same coin. It does not matter what team colour your new master wears. They are still playing for the same team. At the end of the day, they are all just puppets playing their part in a script and they all answer to the Jesuit. And so what I'm going to do with this video is just basically reiterate who our enemy really is. I'm not going to detail how Trump is now showing who he really is because anybody who is paying attention can see that his mask is now falling and that we are going to be taken into World War Three and a very dark time by their puppet Donald Trump. So what I'm going to basically do in this video is just show you how the Jesuit work and how they have infiltrated all of our governments and this includes the Australian government because we have Jesuits on all sides of government here too and this has been happening for centuries this isn't just something that's happened over decades they have been positioning themselves and infiltrating our governments for centuries and now they have basically been able to take control of all of the world governments and now they are just positioning themselves to bring us to war. Now people often wonder why would they do this? Why would they destroy the planet and why would they take us to war and destroy each other? And that is because they will destroy what they can't inherit. If you want to know what that means, if you want to have a deeper understanding of what that means, you will need to go and do more research and there is plenty of information on my channel to put you in the right direction so that you can understand what is motivating them and why they are acting out the way they are, even when it seems to us complete insanity to engage in nuclear war because it will destroy not only us but them. But when you understand the hidden agenda and what motivates them on a deeper level, then you will understand why they are just going to go out shooting up the place. Because they've been basically just partying hard at our expense and now that they have basically run out of time they are just going to go out shooting up the place and they will destroy what they can't inherit anything that is of a divine nature anything that is good anything that is pure they will destroy it they will corrupt it that is what motivates them our demise our annihilation is what motivates them it's why they get out of bed in the morning and everything else that appears to be for our benefit is nothing but an act. It's all a stage show. And when you start peeling back the layers 
and looking beneath the surface, you can see that they are nothing but puppets playing their part in a script and they have played their parts for a very long time. Donald Trump has been groomed for this position since he was a teenager because he actually attended the Fordham University. And the Fordham University is a Jesuit Catholic University. And so we can see that Donald Trump has ties to the Jesuits because he was educated at a Roman Catholic Jesuit college, or Jesuit university. Now, it's interesting to also look to the warnings that were left to us about the Jesuit because it confirms to us how the Jesuit actually work to infiltrate our governments. And I found this comment here by J.E.C. Shepherd, a Canadian historian, very interesting because he goes on to say that between 1555 and 1931, the Society of the Jesus, the Jesuit order, was expelled from at least 83 countries, cities, states and cities for engaging in political intrigue and subversion, plots against the welfare of the state. According to the records of a Jesuit priest of repute, Thomas J. Campbell. Practically every instance of expulsion was for political intrigue, political infiltration, political subversion and inciting to political insurrection. And then we see something very interesting from Napoleon Bonaparte who warned us that the Jesuits are a military organisation. You know, the Jesuits aren't even supposed to be popes. Yet we have our very first Jesuit Pope and people still aren't identifying who the enemy really are. And he goes on to say they're not a religious order. Their chief is a general of an army, not the mere father abbot of a monastery. And the aim of this organisation is power. Power in its most despotic exercise. Absolute power, universal power, power to control the world by the volition of a single man. Jesuitism is the most absolute of despotisms and at the same time the greatest and most enormous of abuses. So as we can see there were plenty of warnings that were left to us so that we could actually identify who our enemy were and the way that they worked to infiltrate our governments. Now we can also see that Trump's cabinet is also full of Catholics. We have Kellyanne Conway we have Mike Pence, who's actually a evangelical Catholic. We've got Steve Bannon, who's a Catholic. We've got Sean Spicer, who's a Catholic. We've got Andrew Bremberg, also a Catholic. Then if you have a look at the military, General James Mattis, or Mad Dog Mattis, is also a Catholic. And then if we actually have a look at the Supreme Court, we can see Roman Catholic, Roman Catholic, Roman Catholic, Roman Catholic, Roman Catholic, and Neil Gorsuch is also a Roman Catholic, and he is Jesuit educated. And so people have to actually start to identify that it's not the Jews that we have to worry about, because we always keep hearing about how everything's the Jews. It's actually the Jesuits. And we can even see here there are more Roman Catholics than there are so-called Jews. Now, if we actually look to Scripture, and we can actually then see that we were warned that there were going to be those who claim to be Jews and are not, but are liars. Now, we can see this not only in Revelation 3.9, but also in Revelation 2.9, where it also goes on to say, I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. I know about the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. And that's because the people that follow a religion called Judaism have been convinced that they are the Jews, whereas the Jews are actually only the children of God. They are the divine children of God and they were scattered to the four corners of the earth according to scripture 
and they will only be known amongst mankind when the time is upon us that God wills us. Now, just because they decided to create a nation called Israel in 1948 doesn't mean that God willed it. This is something that happens on a spiritual and an ethereal level. And so this is why we have to see that everything that's happening on the political stage has its roots in the spiritual. And we can't separate the spiritual from the material. Politics and religion are fused. And if they weren't, then we wouldn't see that Israel has such power in the political arena. We wouldn't see that religion is being used as a weapon if it didn't have a significant part to play in everything. Now, we can even see that Trump has ties to warmongers such as Kissinger. This photo was taken in 2007, and so they have connections that go way back, and that's because they are all playing for the same team. And even the ones that claim to be Jewish are actually answering to the Jesuit. The Jesuit are the head office of the Antichrist because they are against what is divine in mankind. They are against the Christ and the Christ is your divine nature and that is why they are the Antichrist. It is not a supernatural being that looks like a demon that's carrying a pitchfork and has horns. This is to do with the governments and organizations that have taken control of our world and are only motivated by extinguishing the light within us, the Christ within us. So I will leave all of these links in the description. As I said, I didn't really want to detail all of the behaviours that we now see Trump engaging in that is slowly revealing his agenda and who he really is because anybody paying attention can actually see this. And so I don't want to waste my time constantly reporting on the political arena because it is only an extension of the spiritual. I would rather spend my time focusing on what's important, focusing on what's real, and what's real is our spiritual nature, our ethereal nature. Everything else is just a stage show. This is just all a stage show. And when we start seeing this, how we should actually be observing everything, then we can actually not have to exist in confusion, not have to be a victim because that is what we will be if we don't identify who the enemy are. If we continue to put our faith in people that claim to be there to help us, then we are only going to be their victim. We have to start putting faith within ourselves, within our own intellect, and remember our connection to our divine nature, because really that's all that's important. Now, before I go I just wanted to play this video because basically we heard Trump repeating you know through the campaign that he was going to make things hard for Hillary uh, she was basically a criminal and then we heard all of the people that were supporting Trump basically reiterating that they wanted to see him lock her up well, these were the remarks he made about Hillary and Bill, and this was on the 20th of January, 2017. So let's just have a listen to what he says about the Clintons and how he feels about the Clintons. You know, I, I'll tell you, there is something that I wanted to say, because I was very honored, very, very honored, when I heard that President Bill Clinton and Secretary Hillary Clinton was coming today, and I think it's appropriate to say, and I'd like you to stand up. I'd like you to stand up. Well, giving her a standing ovation doesn't really look like he's going to lock her up. 
So I will also put a link to this video underneath in the description as well. But once again, it really comes down to people identifying the enemy and who the enemy really is. And it is not each other. We are squabbling amongst each other. We see each other as the enemy when the enemy is actually the one working from the shadows and controlling everything. So I will put this link underneath and you can read all of the other warnings that were left to us about the Jesuits. And hopefully people begin to realize what is happening and how everything is being controlled from the shadows by the most evil of men and they have been playing out their script for centuries and it has always been bloodshed. You know, I'll tell you, it has always involved lots of bloodshed. Just ask the million Gnostic Cathars that were slaughtered, and tortured Hillary and Clinton burned today. And by the Catholic Church. And I'd like you to Just ask like them about up. how violent and bloodthirsty these evil men can be and they are still in power, they are still in control of our world. Well, I will leave it here and as I said, I will post everything underneath and you can look at that yourself in more detail. And as always, peace out.